stuck in work on a Sunday. Thought I'd bring in my camera. Just chat some shit. The Black Magic Pocket 4K. That's what I want to talk about. I've been making films for a number of years since the early 2000s. I bought a high eight camera, um, recording to high eight tapes, and edited on a VHS to VHS tape deck, which was incredibly crap at the time. But that's what I used to make films. I would also try and edit within camera. But the high eight camera in particular, that was my first camera, and. Um, even back then with my novice knowledge of cameras and lighting and filmmaking, uh, you just knew that obviously what you're going to shoot on a high eight camera is not going to look like what Spielberg uses in Hollywood. The quest continued to find a way of making your films, my films, look cinematic. Years went by and I was looking toward a Canon XL1S. That was a good camera. It was uh, deemed professional, shot on many DV tapes, uh, went up to DVD resolution, so 720 by 576. I got a loan for that camera, a few grand in fact, and um, I was adamant that this stunning looking camera would give me that cinematic quality that I've been longing for. And again, at the time, uh, I wasn't really going down the cinematography route. I was just a filmmaker who had ideas and stories in his head that wanted to make films, wanted to realize these stories into a film. And it was just myself, so I was having to kind of buy the cameras and write the scripts and assemble the cast pretty much what we all do when we first start out so i got this camera and uh yeah the quality was good but it wasn't spielberg it wasn't hollywood it just didn't look cinematic now obviously lighting abilities and um, using light shaping light understanding light and how that impacts um, your footage and makes it cinematic Going on then to uh, 2010, something like that, I bought a HD camera, um, which was a Panasonic HD camera, a proper video, consumer video camera. So no interchangeable lenses, nothing like that. It was just a straightforward bog standard camera. But it shot HD, which was great, and it was all on the hard drive built into the camera, so no more tapes, rewinding the tapes, uh, recording the tapes onto the computer, and none of that fiasco. It was just HD, digital, the revolution of digital video. And the quality was great, and, and, and the images looked nice, and we shot, believe it or not, two feature films, three feature films, in fact, with that one camera. Um, but still, at, even at that time, I was dabbling with cinematography. I would shoot my own films, but didn't really understand cinematography. And after we shot uh, Night of the Living Dead, Resurrection, which was a hell of an experience, I really understood that I knew fuck all about cinematography. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to say it. I had an idea, I was able to kind of imagine these, I'm sure a lot of you filmmakers <clears throat> out there have the idea in your head, but it's it's very, it's one thing having in your head and then getting it done and realizing that visual in your head onto screen. So after uh, our first couple of feature films, which we shot pretty much back to back, I really started to get into cinematography. I bought a GH4 and it had really nice, it had a really nice look to it. Um, it had all the hallmarks of a great 
independent um, videographer's dream. Not quite cinematography because, you know, it's still video -y. Um, but nevertheless, it was giving great quality at 4K, which is fantastic. It's using that camera and liking the look of it um, kind of spurred me on to delve into cinematography and really started to learn the disciplines of it and really get into it, which I did do, and I'm still doing to this day. Um, because you, you know, you've you've never nobody gets to that point where they're like, oh, I know everything about cinematography now. There's no more to learn. There's everything to learn. There's everything to, you know, understand. Yes, there's the technical side of it, which is, you know, there's a lot of basic rules to cinematography, but um, experiences teach you a lot. And um, every day shooting is a valuable lesson to be learned. So, but the point I'm trying to get to is. Within this journey of cinematography and using different cameras and different formats and um, learning about lighting, you, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K is the camera I've been wanting since early 2000s. It's affordable, um, it's compact, and it's a proper cinema camera you can't put that on the hands of somebody who doesn't know anything and then they're going to get amazing results but if you put that in the hands of somebody who's learning the disciplines of, of cinematography and is adamant on getting that visual from his head onto screen or her head um it's a powerful tool it's it's it'll give you almost spielberg-esque quality now the caveat is you have to understand lighting and um, cinematography you know you got to know your lenses focal lengths what they do um, the way you use light different kinds of light different powers of light uh, all, all those kind of things to, to achieve a really truly cinematic look but it just gives It'll give a lot of independent filmmakers that ability to produce high quality content, which I think is fantastic. And I'm very excited for this camera. And that will be a future Mad Science Films camera. At the minute we're shooting uh, on the GH4. We've got the Sony a7 III, which is a nice camera. Um, it's a hybrid camera. I bought a mainly for stills, but I also use it for video. We did a corporate gig, which I used this camera and the quality is very nice. The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, the Blackmagic design, color science, um, it's just beautiful. It's just highlight roll off. Um, the way the colors reproduced, um, the color science, just everything. It just looks really nice. Now there are cameras out there. I've seen it compared to the GH5S, which is a nice camera. Uh, there's a lot, 10 bit internal, which is great. Um, there's less to, it, lead, it needs less modifying. So I understand why videographers would look to those kind of cameras like the GH5S. Um, but it, I, I personally get bugged when people compare that camera to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, they're, 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 they're comparing GH5S's and, um, you know, the, the, the latest Lumix S1 series. They're, they're different cameras for different people. The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K is for somebody who wants to shoot cinema. I mean, the title of the camera gives it away. It's a cinema camera. It's not for videographers. You know, they Videographers want um, run and gun style, you know, autofocus, the flippy out fucking screen. They want, they want an easy ride <laughs> where, you know, image stabilization and all the rest of it. Cinematographers want a cinema camera that can deliver ultimately image quality that is cinematic and that it's what is appealing. 
you know, when people, I've, I watched the video the other day and some guy was talking about why he's returning the Black Magic Pocket Camera and he was listing reasons because um, the autofocus wasn't good. Well, if you're, why would you buy a cinema camera just to fucking film yourself? That's ridiculous. I know it's affordable. I know it's the form factor of it looks similar to DSLRs and all the rest of it, but people misunderstand it's a it's a cinema camera it's for modifying building up um and then using on a rig um gimbals sliders whatever for cinematic motion of movement with camera it's supposed to be used in a controlled environment where you're using lights you know it's supposed to be you behind that camera as a cinematographer not in front of it as a videographer or a bloody YouTuber. I think this is going to revolutionize independent cinema. I think it's going to be allowing, it's going to allow for young filmmakers out there to create stunning work. And it's, it's within your hands, you know, long gone are the days of using plugins to create the film look. Um, Tony B, dissatisfied because you know you'll apply all the plugins you want to your HD footage um, you know make it look film emulate film but we all know we all we all know that uh, it doesn't look like film the black magic pocket 4k with its color science being 12-bit raw um, it's looking good, people. It's looking really good. If you're a filmmaker, um, you have a Black Magic Pocket Cinema 4K. Drop some links, please. Uh, put them in the comments. We haven't bought ours yet. We are. There's a huge back order, but we're not quite ready to go into production soon on any future films. So we can afford to wait a bit, but we will be getting one. Um, if you think I'm talking crap, please let me know. Um <laughs> If you're a videographer that uses one, let me know why. Um, I'll be very interested to find out why. Um, yeah, so let us know. Let us know what you think of the camera. Let us know about your little journey to cinematography. If you like this video, then hit the like button. And if you want to hear more from us, then hit, hit the notification bell. Hit, 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 hit. Until next time, goodbye. Oh, by the way, I've had a lot of pizza just now, so I feel a bit, a little bit run down. Yeah. Okay. Peace.